So right now, like say, uh, when we are like hiring engineers, right? One of the main thing I look at them is like, uh, what kind of company you want to work for? Like say you talk about all the FANG companies. Today, if you join them, the product is already there. And there is no challenge as such. You will be working on a small module in small corner. No one is going to recognize that. When you're working in a big company, right? There's a lot of things going on and you're just doing some part of it. It's very hard to be connected to the business and figure out like where you fit into the overall picture. I agree, like in my previous companies, generally there are like a lot of processes to follow, right? And it's like things move very slowly. Impact ultimately translates to motivation. Um, because if you are not seeing impact, um, there's only so long you can work on a problem without really seeing any needle moving because of the work that you're doing. Tripling is providing an alternative uh, in terms that like, hey, we are a very fast growing company. We are doing great in terms of finances, as well as like we are building a great product. You will rarely find a company which is trying to solve like you can say 30, 40, 50 problems at one single time. So grocery tech, it's good, uh, but it's not solving a big problem in the market. Like you can get things in like two hours, three hours, or you can get in 10 minutes. I, I personally don't think that that's a, a problem which uh, will impact a lot if you solve it. Whenever someone asks me, what does Rippling do? My reaction is, what doesn't it do? It does everything from payroll, insurance, benefits, identity management, device management, and so much more. You can take my word that any of these subdomains, like could be benefits, could be payroll. Uh, it's so deep, um, there's so many variables. It makes it really challenging to actually make sense out of it. You need to be able to solve devices for 50 million people, you need to be able to solve benefits for 50 million people, you need to be able to solve payroll for 50 million people. And this is just small medium business in the US we're talking about. If we go up market or even if we go global, uh, just multiply that by 10 or 100 and like you're looking at serious scale. I think deep down every engineer craves for a problem that really puts them in that spot, that stretches them a little bit. If you're working for a bigger company, you'll just get a task which mentioned about, okay, you have to do this and you just do it. Uh, but the difference with uh, working in Rippling is that you have to understand the product first to build anything. And if you understand the product, you start behaving as a co-founder, right? You start behaving as a startup founder for the particular product, and that makes a really big difference. We started hiring product managers like a year ago, right? Like before that, it was all engineers doing everything. And eventually, I think what that has resulted in is everyone having a lot of autonomy. I think that's definitely very unique at Rippling. Each team that works on these products, they are sort of autonomous in themselves and they have a high degree of ownership and responsibility when it comes to shipping the features or the capabilities. It is challenging at times, but it's also very exciting. It's really fulfilling to be a part of such team which delivers such a huge product. So yes, that really motivates us. Seriously, I've seen a lot of impact than I have in my previous companies. There are enough opportunities in Rippling that still are zero to one. If you're a one to hundred type of an engineer, each of these established teams, be it device management, be it insurance, be it payroll, needs people that uh, like want to work on scaling challenges. We're at 0.01% of our way to where we want to be. I think the best time to join Rippling was four years ago. The next best time to join Rippling is now.